Retargeting advertising is dead. <laughs> Retargeting advertising is it's it is on its way to the frickin' slaughterhouse. Um, so actually there's there's two big pieces of news and one you definitely well if you've been paying attention I'm sure that you've heard about it the second one is I think it's it's hitting like right now and um, between these two it is like the vast majority of internet advertising is going to be impacted so the first one um, that you probably heard about is the whole Apple versus Facebook thing basically Apple said to Facebook you have to stop tracking our users. Your, your Facebook Pixel is going to stop working on iOS devices. So the 1 billion plus people who use iPhones, iPads, the, the devices that run the iOS operating system. Um, as a Facebook advertiser, you're no longer able to, um, to say, oh, that person visited my site, I'd like to put new ads in front of them, or at least that changes what is coming down the line. And, uh, and, and the implication for Facebook that is is analysis are saying that there are you know there's there's billions of dollars in revenue on the line here, as far as your ability to retarget as an advertiser, it's it's going to go away, at least. Well, we'll get to the we'll get to your opportunity here. So the second piece of news that's just hitting right now as I'm recording this is that Google announced that in 2022, um, they are basically taking away all behavior-based targeting of, of, um, of users through Google advertising. And so one of the, one of the things that, um, that that actually seems to have the implication of is is you're not necessarily going to like it's it's going to be harder to target somebody based on based on somebody new um, based on visiting certain websites. But I also believe based on reading into the language of this, that basically Google is killing their own retargeting efforts too. Um, that willingly without Apple coming and saying, hey, Google, you know, we're going to publicly go to war with you. Uh, Google is saying, hey, uh, we're, we're going to take away this behavior based targeting and um, and advertisers are no longer going to be able to target you based on whatever your behavior is on the Internet. Now, one of the quotes that I thought was really telling here um, and and kind of speaks to what is going to work moving forward and what you should start putting in place today based on this is if you can't persuade consumers, this is the quote out of an article I read, if you can't persuade consumers to part with their data willingly, you probably don't deserve it. If you can't persuade consumers to part with their data willingly, you probably don't deserve it. Um, so so what do you do? Well, honestly, like the, the stuff that you had to do back in the days of direct mail where you could no longer target people um, and, and analyze like every little bit of behavior is going to become all the more relevant again. Because now instead of like lazily being able to say, oh, this person visited this and they visited this and like I can stalk them around the Internet because they visited certain places. There's going to be a lot more of I can't track them or retarget them unless they actually take a specific action where they voluntarily raise their hand. So um, the, the, the comparison in the old fashioned analog world is you run a small ad and you ask somebody to give their phone number or mailing address in order for you to send follow up communication. And, um, and, and so they call or they write in or whatever, they fill out one of those coupons in a print ad and they give their information and then you can market to them again. Um, and, and that is permission-based, relationship-based marketing. And so it's going to become all the more important that you are actually getting people to take those conversion steps, actually pe getting people to take action, actually getting people to, instead of just coming and visiting a page, getting them to submit their information so that um, you have that information and you're able to follow up with them. And of course, like, with this, email marketing is already way more valuable, like higher ROI of an activity versus pretty much every other bit of, of, um, of, of marketing and advertising that you can do online. Once you get somebody on your email list, the value is off the charts. And so 
building a good relationship with your customers, your prospects through email is going to continue to be like the whole linchpin, most critical element of online marketing. Um, and it's only going to become more powerful and more important going forward. Um, and also another thing that I'll note here is uh, another thing that you want to focus on is better funnels and better economics on acquisition. So if if the whole act of getting new customers um, is going to be more difficult because the retargeting isn't going to work as well, you're going to have to get better at um, at converting the people that you are doing business with for the first time. And so there is going to be there's going to be some element of that. But probably most importantly, and like the biggest opportunity going forward um, is that, well, basically what's being what's being um, taken away right now, if you look at the Apple versus Facebook thing, if you look at the Google thing, it is represented by that if you can't persuade consumers to part with their data willingly, you probably don't deserve it. So what they're saying is all the silent tracking that's going on around the internet, like tracking your behavior as you go to different places and then following you, you know, is stalker behavior, right? Um, all of that silent behavior, which by the way, as a consumer, I actually don't mind it that much. Like I'm maybe it's because I am an advertiser, but but I disagree with the need to like remove behavioral based tracking. But if it's happening as a marketer, as an advertiser, I have to know how to deal with it. Um, so what you have to do um, is make sure that you are developing owned audiences, owned audiences, because what I'm seeing here is this this. Um, is that they are not taking away owned audience retargeting. So for example, on Facebook, you can sync or upload your customer list with Facebook, um, your prospect list to Facebook. And you can say, I want you to put ads in front of these people. Um, I want to send out specific ads to people who have opted in. I want you to send out specific ads to my customer base. Likewise with Google, with Google ads. You can give them your customer list and you can say, I want you to use the and they, they only use it for this. They only match it up with with users that they have. And they say and you say, like, I want you to put my ads in front of these people. And so if this is this is your owned audience, right? These are people who, back to that quote, you have persuaded to part with their data willingly. Um, and so presumably they're saying, you know, Apple is is not saying that Facebook can't target people based on email address. Google is not saying they're going to stop letting you target people based on email address. And so if they have given you their data willingly and you are able to upload it to these places and you say, this is my audience, I'd like to talk to them. Google and Facebook and all the other ad platforms that are going to have to back off on behavioral targeting. Well, um, they're going to love the ad revenue that that you're willing to give them through targeting people based on having that relationship with you. And so the advertisers that win as this whole death of retargeting thing uh, plays out are going to be the advertisers who understand, um, number one, how to get people on their permission-based marketing list. So how to get people to actually sign up um, for email list, whatever, for, for, you know, some kind of content. And then who actually feed that back into the advertising platforms and say, hey, I, I'm not trying to get you to just stalk people for me. I'm trying to like communicate with the people who've already raised their hand and said that they're interested in my message. So can I put advertising in front of these people? And th that's going to be, that will be, the type of retargeting that you're still able to do with this, this owned audience retargeting, um, this permission based retargeting. And when you do that type of retargeting going forward, that's going to be how you're how you are going to be able to make the whole like paid paid advertising magic um, really pay off in the long run. 
So that's my take on the death retargeting. I'd love it. Uh, if you could leave a comment below, let me know. What are your thoughts? First off, how valuable did you find this on a one to 10 scale? Let me know and, and why. What are your big takeaways and action items as well as like, what are your thoughts on the whole situation? Um, also tap that like button before you go so you get more content like this delivered to you. And so the magical algorithms of the internet We'll share it with more people like you who will find it valuable. You can certainly share it with folks directly and subscribe before you go. Uh, you, you if, When you subscribe, you can subscribe here. You can also go to Breakthrough Marketing Secrets, get my daily emails, including these video episodes of Breakthrough Marketing Secrets and exclusive content for email subscribers. And hey, uh, based on this conversation, you may occasionally see some ads from me. <laughs> um, but when you sign up, you're also going to be signing up for, for essentially ongoing coverage of the type of copywriting, marketing, advertising information that will help you succeed going forward. And if you're really ready to deep dive, I do have the BTMS Insiders Training Library. It's like Netflix, but with marketing and copywriting training. I'll include a link with this video for you to check out. Um, you get access to all my training and you pay just a monthly fee to get instant streaming access to everything. My name is Roy Fur. This has been a video issue of Breakthrough Marketing Secrets. I look forward to hearing your thoughts in the comments. I always aim for 10 out of 10 value. I hope that I've delivered it here and I look forward to seeing you again in your next video. See you soon. Bye.